chosen ones, black sheep, earth angels, brothers and sisters. It's time to unleash the lion within and show those that bullshit ends here. And we came to break from the BS and rise. And you chose, you choose to ride or die. Or die and rebirth and rebuild from nothing to victory. And our Heavenly Father gave us an assignment and tests to pass. And these tests were given to us to work through them, through God's love, and gain victory, blessings, and generational wealth. But we didn't come here to play small, but to stand out, not follow the crowd or fit in. And I know it's a lonely journey, isolated from, from others, from human interaction, because it's hard to find those souls that understand us on a deeper level. Indeed, if God gave us this journey, he knew that we could thrive. That's why God gave, gave that kind of journey to you. And God knows that you're strong and that you went through all that you went through not to break you. And you're still standing, shining and glowing. And be proud of yourself and your greatness. Stay away from low vibrational people. And I had an interaction with a low vibrational person. I met a low vibrational woman and I hadn't met for a long time, but she watched everything I posted on social media. I mean, everything. And she's the kind of woman who wakes up, opens her social media, checks everything and starts feeling small, jealous of everybody and wants to compete and send negative energy. She's an energy vampire, low vibrational. And she said, oh, I see you posting, you know, your things on social media and you're dancing. And where do you get that energy? So I told her, I tap into my magic. Why don't you do it too? Instead of gossiping, being negative, toxic, miserable, criticizing and making fun of me and watching the stuff I post. And she couldn't find an answer to tell me. So it's time, brothers and sisters, to tap into your magic and focus on your journey. Remember our playfulness and laughter and joy is always within and waiting for us to rediscover it. And when we lose touch with these aspects, we risk becoming toxic. Embracing childlike pleasure is a powerful tool in healing our inner child who yearns to play freely. So please don't deny it. Don't deny this chance to your inner child. Unleash your creativity, your self-expression through dance or in any other kind of medium. This is your path to healing your inner child and returning to joy. And trust me, you'll, you'll feel more happier and more content when you do. And the best part, you'll naturally rebel those low vibrational people and use your discernment in your interactions and don't be afraid to speak your truth. Your happiness is worth it. And low vibrational people have a specific pattern. They gossip about others because they hate them and they're jealous because they feel small within and they are unhealed and haven't done their inner work. They have demons and entities within them. They have emotional and physical pains and they don't seek help and they have dimmed their light. They are energy vampires 
who set out to suck out your energy and drain you so they can feel better about themselves. And they want to make you feel sad and stupid because that's what they are. And after encountering them, you feel drained, weak, tired, frustrated, empty, and can't breathe because you have taken their demons and projections. Your job is not to alchemize their shit. Let them do it. Your job is to be the light and inspire others to start focusing on their journey and being the light. Let go, cut, cut the cords and welcome people who match your vibration. Surrender to God. And if you don't know how to do this and you get lost, I'm here to lead you to the light. Visit my website to, to buy my healing and inspiring books or learn about my new transformative process. And this process will help you connect and surrender to God's light and love and your spirit team, captivate your joy and inspiration and become the beacon of light and hope for others to see the light in this dark materialistic world and dark forces are at war against God's children and we need to unite and activate our lights together and you can see what is going on you don't need details you already know and those who know can understand precisely what I'm saying and know that you don't need to be alone as of today. Some of you feel drained and lost, but fear no more. I'm here to watch over you and guide you. And I will share the website links so you can connect with me. See you soon, brothers and sisters. Keep moving forward. Don't give up. And know that our Heavenly Father loves us very much. Thank you for watching me.